How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm gonna explain you why iOS 18 is the biggest and most important update to iOS in over a decade. Let's get started. Okay, so if you've been using the iPhone for a while now, at least for a few years, you have definitely noticed that every single iOS update is pretty much the same as the previous one. If you think about iOS 12, it's pretty much the same as iOS 11, which is pretty much the same as iOS 13, 14, 15, 16, and now iOS 17. We always get something new. Sometimes it's a new wallpaper, others it's the app library, or maybe a new lock screen, sometimes widgets, but in the end of the day, it's always pretty much the same thing, isn't it? The last time we saw something big in iOS was iOS 7, and it was over 10 years ago, in 2013. If you used an iPhone back then, you probably remember the redesign of iOS 7. It was completely different. We've got new icons, new interface overall, new animations. iOS just felt completely new, just like that just after a software update. I remember everybody wanted to get iOS 7, and after updating to iOS 7, we felt like we've had new iPhones, even though it was just a software update. And that's exactly what we hope to see next week in WW24 with iOS 18, a completely new experience. And all of this has to do with one thing, and that's AI. So we've all been talking about AI like pretty much every day, especially because of ChatGPT. So everyone's talking about AI, everyone's using AI in their day-to-day -day life. So AI is the thing, right? And of course, Apple is not out of this. So iOS 18 will be huge, will be revolutionary, and will be the biggest, most important update to iOS in over a decade because of AI. But the interesting thing on Apple's take on AI is it's not going to do something extraordinary and it's not going to use something extremely flashy and something to catch your eye and it features like ChatGPT and others where they create incredible stuff out of the blue. That's not the point. That's not how Apple will implement AI in iOS 18. Rather, they'll do it in an utilitarian manner. So they think and implement AI in iOS to help your day-to-day -day life. So AI will be embedded, will be actually inside within the apps that we already use. Like for example, Notes, Safari, Photos, and of course, Siri. So Apple's take on AI is to make the iPhone smarter and to make your day-to-day -day routine and your life and the tasks that you already do on the apps that you already use way faster, way more optimized and way easier because you will actually have iOS as a more intelligent software to help you out on your day-to-day -day life. So, as I mentioned, AI in iOS 18 will be pretty much divided in two different categories. Siri, which a lot of people are calling Siri 2.0 or new Siri, because it'll be completely different from what we're used to seeing Siri on the iPhone since it was released in 2011, right? So it'll be completely different and AI inside apps. So let's briefly talk about those two ways that Apple is thinking about AI. So thinking about Siri, it'll become so much smarter that it'll actually run multiple tasks at once. It'll actually execute actions and do stuff inside apps, like as if it's a person using your iPhone, your assistant with your iPhone, right? And also it'll completely navigate in iOS. So think of Siri really as a person that you're actually talking to and asking stuff and demanding stuff and really having a conversation with that's doing things on your iPhone uh, that you don't need to worry about. So let's think about an example here. So let's imagine that your iPhone is low on battery, right? And you want to make sure you have enough battery to get home like uh, 8 p.m. today. 
So nowadays you just can't have this kind of interaction with your iPhone unless actually you open it up, take a look and do stuff. But imagine a scenario where Siri is so smart that it can actually engage and have a conversation and make it do stuff for you. Like for example, you can say like Siri, do you think my iPhone will have enough battery to last till 8 p.m. And then it's gonna use AI and machine learning and everything else and analyze how you generally use your iPhone at that time of the day and then say, mm, Daniel, based on your use, I don't think it'll last until eight. And then you can say, all right, so make it, make it last. So then it's gonna enable low power mode and save battery and maybe cut cellular data, uh, disable notifications and background activity and so on in order to make it last until 8 p.m. So it's this kind of uh, development that we're expecting Siri to have in iOS 18, to be so smart that it can actually talk to it have a conversation and actually decide on what you want to do, demand it to do something and then it'll make that, it'll take action and it'll actually solve a problem for you. And that's the point of an assistant. That's how Siri was supposed to be throughout all this, like over a decade that's implemented on the iPhone but never really managed to do so. But now in iOS 18, it actually could. And now thinking about the other part of AI, which is AI within apps that I mentioned, we have some examples as well that have leaked already, including AI in the Photos app. So then you'll be able to edit, manipulate, add stuff uh, on your photos and videos using AI with just a press of a button. Uh, on top of that, Safari as well. The Notes app will get so, so smart as well uh, to the point where, for example, if you're attending to a meeting or a lecture, you can inside the notes app, ask it to record that meeting, it'll record that, then it'll transcribe the text, you can even add it and summarize the text all automatically with AI. And even if it's, for example, a math class, it'll even resolve your equations. So the Notes app is getting so smart that it will actually solve math equations. But of course, you can use it for normal meetings as well if you want to. So that's the use of AI in iOS 18. Siri becoming super smart and becoming an actual assistant where you can actually have a conversation, demand multiple uh, commands and requests. So then it's like a person with your phone doing what you want it done, right? And also AI within apps, making apps way smarter and make iOS more utilitarian. So making your life easier. That's the whole point of AI inside iOS 18. On top of that, we're expecting other changes in iOS 18, including some redesigns in the settings app and the control center. I know we've been hearing about this for a while, for many years, but now the rumors seem to be much more concrete on this. So we really expect new stuff in the settings and control center as well, apart from all the AI stuff. Now, I know it's all good, all incredible and wonderful, but now let's get back to real life and let me explain you some other stuff that may not make you super happy. So, first of all, of course, those are all rumors. iOS 18 will be released next week. It's pretty much sure, everything that I talked about in this video, like 90% sure, but still rumors, okay? On top of that, this development of iOS 18, and especially Siri and so on, uh, don't expect it to be available on day one, like next week in iOS 18 beta one. Maybe most of the features will only be available in September, maybe some of them by the end of the year and even next year. So Apple will implement those features, especially the most complex ones. So regarding AI uh, throughout the life cycle of iOS 18. So it may take a few months for us to see all of that. And also, even though iOS 18 will be compatible with at least the iPhone 11 and newer, so it'll be compatible with a ton of iPhone models, including older ones, but be sure that the most interesting, the most incredible, the most amazing features, the ones that we actually want, they will only be reserved for the newest iPhones. iOS 18 will be compatible with most iPhones nowadays, but 
the most incredible features won't just reserved to the latest iPhones and some of them just to the flagship iPhone 16 Pro and the same goes with iPads and Macs so you will actually need to have at least Apple Silicon on your Mac or your iPad so M1 and M2 and so on so older devices won't have those features either so then that's how Apple is actually pushing you to upgrade and get newest devices so that's pretty much it that's what we know so far one week before iOS 18 we're super excited those are all of the latest rumors I hope you enjoyed this video hope you're excited about iOS 18 I definitely am and of course next week you will see here on Dana Baltac full coverage of iOS 18 and of course iPadOS, macOS, watchOS the whole lineup so subscribe now and stay tuned because a lot of new content coming soon thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you on the next video as usual guys bye bye